So, hello, this is Joe, and this is Andy. He's the first person that has ever recognized me in real life. And he's local, and he has a water wheel. Quite a coincidence. But yeah, that's fate, right? You could almost even put a water wheel right here. I know, I've thought about it. You want to explain sort of what you have going on here? Sure, yeah, it's um, four and a half inch aluminum pipe, just a, a small dam, maybe a foot and a half high, just to build enough height to get the pipe full. Um, runs downstream about 150 feet, and when it gets down to where the wheel is, there is about approximately five foot of drop to the tail water. Yeah. And I'm only utilizing about maybe three and a half to four foot at the moment because of where the wheel is mounted. And so there's a bend in it here about a third of the way down that I think was probably plugged up. And we can try to clean that out, see if we can get the water flowing again. See how dark it is. There's still no, it in. Really, this should be flowing more than that too. So yeah, it should be. Maybe there's something else going on. Maybe it's silted in too. That could be. Here are the rocks. Oh yeah. That's the first time that section is plugged up. One way to right at the moonlight, but it's 90 down here. Yeah. Oh! We gotta get up on the top of hooked around just as like a temporary setup yeah. around the outside edge of the wheel going to what I'm hoping to use for a generator. You say there was probably a water wheel here before? No, actually there was a stone wall almost exactly where the axle of the water wheel is now and that was full of dirt and had like rhododendrons and whatnot growing in it. Uh huh. And so I hand chiseled that stone wall out in the hole for the pipe and put the wheel in. Yeah. Really considering trying to build a flume rather than use pipes because you can fit so much more volume to yeah. a flume. And I don't know if they're as restrictive as far as the drop per hundred feet or you know the, the drop per distance. Where with a pipe, I've noticed you lose a lot of volume if you don't keep a drop. Right. You know. uh, and a big problem that you see with this pipe is it's not very debris tolerant. Yeah. But a flume is a lot more debris tolerant. Ideally, that's what I would like to build. Yeah. Eventually. I realize that it's not attached either, so you can move it front and back. But probably if it was moved closer to the pipe too, you could get a little bit more torque out of it. Sure. Yeah, I'm anxious to get a generator hooked to it uh -huh. and see what the actual output numbers are and play with the distance and, and well, see what it does. Did, yeah, there's definitely a potential for more volume. I mean, I'm only pulling a very small fraction of the water out yeah. of the stream. Parts of the year it, it gets down pretty low, but most of the year there's a lot more volume that can be used than what I'm using now. Right.
his dam is on this side and then this side just along the road so it's actually a confluence of two creeks right here but he's only accessible to the left one Watering your garden, huh? Yeah. Actually right out here at one point in time. Yeah. Yep. Inch and a half then, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty good size one. Yeah, it works pretty well. Um, it definitely put out a lot of pressure. Not a really high volume, but a good pressure. Yeah. Yeah, I, what I would do is I would have a 55 gallon drum uh -huh. that I would fill up and then use that to water the garden. So this would run 24 seven or until it plugged off or, yeah, you know, and then I'd have a drum full of water to use when I needed it. And that worked right. out pretty good. Yeah, that worked well. I plan on using it again. Yeah. Maybe next year. This is a different type of check valve where this is just a flapper valve. This right. This one's spring loaded in here. Is it a spring loaded like ball check valve? Uh, I think it's a tapered tip. Oh yeah, like a cone. Yeah. Or a needle valve. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can see on his pipe there, there's water coming out of the top, so we're not getting an airlock. And I'm pretty sure the pipe is actually full of water now, so that's good. And we get a little bit of a whirlpool there. You can see right in the middle. See the whirlpool? All right, so this is Joe and Jason, Jason and Andy. Uh, hope you had a fun time looking at his project in progress and I'll probably be over here uh, as many times as he wants me over <laughs> helping out because there's a lot of work to be done here and he'll probably be over my house helping some too uh, so keep an eye out for those videos remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them and I guess that's it uh, you can support me on patreon and Amazon and PayPal and there's links below uh, also, hit that like button and leave a comment, and I guess we'll see you guys later. Bye!